He likes watching Knicks basketball and has visited the Johnson Space Center in Houston. Meet Giancarlo Giuliani. She traveled to California and enjoys reading, riding horses, and making her own jewelry. Meet Laura Weidman. He likes to draw, especially maps of Manhattan, and is learning to habla espanol in school. Meet John Thomas. Carlo, nice to see you guys. Hey, listen, here they are, the only group that's toured with Pink Floyd and Rosemary Clooney. Rockabella. <laughs> Why did the sink in there? And as you know, the one of you that catches Carmen San Diego today is going to get that trip to anywhere in North America. And as we say on the program, that is not bad. So let's get started right from the very top. Chief, who we after? This is Robo Crook. Robo Crook. A rubble of trouble who clinks and clanks for Carmen San Diego. His last known whereabouts, Australia. You can call koalas cute and cuddly, just don't call them bears. The lovable koala is a kind of marsupial, a mammal that carries its babies in a pouch. And like many marsupials, koalas are found wild only in Australia, where they've become a national symbol. But times are tough for koalas these days. Home and road building have destroyed most of their habitat, which koalas need for their special diet of eucalyptus leaves. This and other problems now threaten the koala's survival. But things got even worse today when Robocrook popped into Australia and stirred up some strife. Never one to give anybody a fair shake, the recidivist robot has branched out into co-opting koalas. He poached them, he pouched them, and then he pounced away. Bunchies, muzzle that mechanical marsupial and crack today's case. Follow that koala. <laughs> oh, yeah. Woo. Okay, guys, trying to find Rubble and the koalas to help you out with that. We're going to start you off with 50 acne crime bucks. There they are. Every time you answer a question correctly, give you 10 more crime bucks and the two of you. I say the two of you with the high score at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round. So, let's get started now with our very first clue. Uh, Greg, which, Greg, yeah, Chief. These clues just came in from Acme Music Net. It seems uh -huh. that Robo is in an African country that borders Eritrea. Now, yes. this nation has a great musical tradition, but very different from ours. Well, now, how do you know that, Chief? Well, you can see it in their instruments. There's a karar, yes. it's a stringed harp, okay. and a bamboo flute. Oh, very nice, Chief. Called a washint. Yes. And the malucket. It's a horn that plays only one note. Oh. Cool sounds, Chief. I gotta tell you, I've never heard anything like it. Well, they may sound new to you, but this music's been around for thousands of years. Now, go make Robo Crook face the music. We'll do it, Chief. You guys ready to do this? Okay, so name the country where Robo's taken the koalas. Is it Libya, Ethiopia, or Yemen? Remember the clues that we heard, African country bordering uh, Eritrea, and old musical tradition. Laura's ready, so is uh, Giancarlo, and John is ready too. John, what do you say? I said Yemen. He said Libya, is what he said. <laughs> Laura, what do you say? I said Yemen. Yemen, what do you say, Giancarlo? I said Ethiopia. Ethiopia. The answer we're looking for is Ethiopia. Nice job, John Carlo. So that means John and Laura are going to stand 50 crime bucks. John Carlo, you're in the lead now with 60 acne crime bucks. Now, for our next clue. Woo, woo, woo. Hey, bow wow, Greg. Hi, Asta. Hey, whoa, boy, where you been? In a swamp or something? Nah, I'm allergic to quicksand. Hey, uh. You know, I've been chasing sheep in South Central England. Across rambling, picturesque countryside, I almost got this guy. Look out. <laughs> huh. What do you say? They've been growing and weaving wool there a long time. Yeah. Some towns date back about 900 years. That's a lot of sweaters. Hey, you ain't kidding. The region's name is from words that mean high open land and sheep shelters. <laughs> Did you want this back? Nah, you can keep it, pal. Okay. Say, do you know anyone who knits those cute little doggy sweaters? 
Everybody wants to be a Chihuahua. Okay, Gumshoes, name the region. Is it the Cotswolds, Lake District, or the Fens? Remember the clues that we heard? South Central England, history of wool production, and name means high open land and sheep shelters. Thank you very much. Once you're ready, put those uh, signs nice and high so I know you're ready. John is ready. Laura and John Carlos still thinking about it. Now Laura's ready. Now John Carlos is ready. John, what do you say? I said the Fens. The Fens. Laura. I said the Cotswolds. The Cotswolds. Uh, John Carlos. I said the Cotswolds. The Cotswolds. The answer we're looking for is the Cotswolds. Nice job, Laura and John Carlos. So that means John has 50, Laura 60, John Carlos 70, Acme Crime Bucks, and as a reminder to all of you watching at home, all of our answers have been verified by National Geographic World. National Geographic World. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Now our next clue, we turn to the woman who taught Ice Cube all his table manners. Here is Nana Rapp. Come on, Greggy. Get down with your bad self. Bad Robo's got marsupials. He's making me ill. <laughs> I'd whack him with my handbag, but he's in Brazil. <laughs> Rio's carnivore bash attracts the world's civilians. <laughs> but Robo's in the party town preferred by some Brazilians on the northeast coast, where for most of the year, <laughs> it's a quiet spot for artists and vacationers, dear. <laughs> but at carnival time, they go wild. They start bugging. Now go save those koalas, because they need some Nana hugging. Ooh, the Nana. Ooh, the Ooh nana. they're so cute. They're nana. Nana. <laughs> yeah, let's hear for Shayna, dance partner. Okay, guys, name the city where Robo's taking the koalas. Is it Olinda, São Paulo, or Sonsão? Remember the clues that we heard? In northeastern Brazil, uh, popular with Brazilians during carnival and quiet spot for artists and vacationers. Come up with an answer as quick as you can. John is ready already. Must know this one, huh? Okay. Uh, Laura and John Carlo ready too? John, what do you say, buddy? I said Olinda. Uh, Olinda. What do you think, Laura? I said Olinda. Olinda. John Carlo. I said Olinda. Everybody said the same thing. Everybody is right. Thank you very much. Nice job. That means, John, you go up to 60. Laura has 70. John Carlo, 80. Acme crying bucks. Now, ladies and gentlemen, one of my favorite parts of the show. You ready? Yeah. The lightning round. That's right, special effects are us. Uh, all these are worth five Acme Crying Bucks, hands on your buzzer. They're all about uh, Robo's most recent no whereabouts, which is Brazil. So, if you're ready, I know I finally am. Here we go. Carnival time in Rio is world famous, but the Brazilian town of Blumenau throws a hugely popular German-style bash. Is it called Wiener Schnitzel, Oktoberfest, or Lufthansa? Laura. Wiener Oktoberfest. Uh, Oktoberfest is right. Nice job, Laura. Five for you. <laughs> Question two. The orange red wood from a kind of Brazil wood tree is commonly used to make these. What are they? Ouija boards, skateboards, or violin bows? Uh, Giancarlo. Violin bows? Is right. Nice job. Five for you. Okay, guys, here's the last one. The Amazon River takes its name from what one explorer claims he saw while on the river. What is an Amazon? A female warrior, a sumo wrestler, or a 50-foot-long crocodile? Giancarlo. A female warrior. Is right. Nice job. Five for you. Sometimes you got to take a couple of runs at those things. So that means at the end of that round, John has 60, Laura 75, Giancarlo 90, Acme Crime Bucks. Get ready for this now. You ready? Get ready. Next clue coming up is... Watch this. Here's our next clue. This what? is the chief saying, if it doesn't say chewy on the label, it then it's not a real chief chewy chocolate cherry it cherry. Cheese chewy chocolate cherry is the chewiest one. Cheese chewy right chocolate cherry best son of the sun. Cheese chewy chocolate cherry is the chewiest fun. Chewy. What is this? Chief, what in the world's going on here? What is Oh, that, uh, thank you. That's fine. What is this? Oh, well, now that I'm a star, I get to have my own commercial. Oh, chief, uh... I am crushed. I mean, you were my idol, and now here you are trying to cash in on loyal fans of the show and of you, and I think you owe them something better. Oh, all right, I guess you're right. Here are the contest winners for today. Congratulations to today's winners. And if you want to win, write down what got stolen and from where every time you watch the show. When you 
You've collected four loots and locations. Put them on a postcard with your name and address and send it to Acme Crime Net, P.O. Box 4300, New York, New York, 10163. Uh, Gary! Greg. That was wonderful. This is the director. That, what a great read. Oh, thanks a lot. Appreciate that. Uh, uh, each day, we'll pick five people whose lists are correct and send them each a Carmen T-shirt. Unbelievable! Thanks. You know, I really think I could help with this. I really do. Because you're not selling the chewy part. Oh, you really should. Really? How yeah. would you do it, Mr. Costner? Well, I have an idea. All you have to do is... Hi! Greg Lee here for the chief chewy chocolate cherry. It's more chewy. Oh. Chewy. That's wonderful. Have you ever thought about doing a commercial? Well, you know, it's strange you should say that, sir, because I happen to have my own product. It's called Greg's Gooey Gumshoe Gumdrops. They're gooey, they're gummy, and they're pre-chewed. Greg's Gooey Gumshoe Gumdrops, the gummiest one. Oh, oh, these are terrible. Yeah, the best thing about these things is... <laughs> they're pre-chewed. That's the reaction I was looking for. Phone tap. Head for the highest mountain in New Hampshire and the windiest mountain on Earth. Winds were measured there at 231 miles an hour. Then I'll put windbreakers on the koalas. I'd hate to see those cute little guys get cold. Don't get soft on me, Robo-Dad. This peak has some of the world's worst weather. Hurricane-force winds can blow at any time. Temperatures have hit almost 50 below zero. Why does one mountain get such bad weather? Storms usually blow into the northeast U.S. from three different directions. This mountain's at the point where those storm paths meet. Now bundle up your furry friends and go! All right, guys, name the mountain uh, where uh, Robo took the koalas. Is it Mount Marcy, Mount Washington, or Mount Katahdin? John, we start with you, buddy. What do you say? I said Mount Washington. Mount Washington. Laura? I said Mount Washington. Same thing, Giancarlo? I said Mount Washington. Everybody said the same thing. Everybody is right again. Thank you. All right, gumshoes, for our next clue, wait. Oh, yes, wait a minute, Mr. Robo. Oh, wait, 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 Mr. Robo. Mr. Robo, look yeah. and see. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,
Okay, everybody, now it's time for the final clue of this round, which means, you know what this means, gotta take a look at the map. Here's a place where we uh, think that uh, Robo Crook is headed. You're gonna decide how much you want to risk, take a look at the map, and think about it. <laughs> Okay, looks like everybody's ready for our final clue. We go to Maury Povich, an agent for I've Got My Own Talk Show 2, Ned. Maury. Greg, Robocrook is in a Central American country just south of Nicaragua. It's where you'll hear the male hamadryas. They're really noisy butterflies. So what causes the racket? Male butterflies fight for space on trees along the female's flight path. Their wings kind of clack against each other, making a sound you can hear up to 100 feet away. So get down there, and uh, don't forget your earplugs. Uh, nice advice. Thanks a lot for the information, Maury. Guys, name the country, if you will, please. Is it Costa Rica, El Salvador, or Belize? Remember the clues that we heard? Country just south of Nicaragua and home of the male Homodryas, world's noisiest butterfly. Once you have those answers, lay them down right there in front of you guys, so I know you're ready. Very good. John, we'll start with you. You have 80 Acme Crime Books. How much did you risk? I risked 20... Acme crime. Twenty crime bucks. Go to hundred if you're right. What'd you say, John? I said Costa Rica. Costa Rica is right. Nice job, John. Good job. Laura, you have eighty-five crime bucks. How much did you risk? I risked twenty crime bucks. You look pretty happy. What'd you say, Laura? I said El Salvador. Oh, really? You surprised me. Okay, you go down twenty Acme crime bucks. This thing isn't over with yet, though. Hold on a second. Oh, it's not done yet. Hold on. John Carlo, you got hundred and thirty Acme crime bucks. How much did you risk? I risked. 30 crime bucks. 30 crime bucks, right or wrong? It looks like you and John are going on the next round. What'd you say, Giancarlo? I said Costa Rica. Nice job, Giancarlo. You and John going on the next round. Laura, put it there, pal. You're playing a great game. Did some great detective work. We've got some great stuff for you. Chief. Top-notch detective work. There are no other words to describe your contributions to this case. And that's why I'm sending you off with our new Acme Travel Pack. Complete with a backpack, an atlas, the official Carmen T-shirt, a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine, and our Acme voice-activated identification badge and leave a message wallet. Just flip it open and say anything you want. And say anything you want. Congratulations. Hey, Steve, very clever. Okay, guys, time for us to go to Costa Rica. You'll pack for... Yeah, Chief. Greg, watch out. You're wiping your jacket on my nose. Sorry about the chief. I just thought I saw something there. Okay, guys, ready to go? Costa Rica. You got my hat? You got the door? I got the chief? Let's roll. We're going to Costa Rica as soon as we get out the door. Greg, what's wrong with my book? That's trouble. Her face just froze solid. Okay, gun shoes, here we are in Costa Rica. You guys know where to go, right? Yeah, it's right over here. Chief is right here. She knows what to say. Chief, fill us in. Gum shoes. There are 15 places here in Costa Rica where you might find Robo, the Warrant, or the Koalas. Here's a handful. First stop, Acme's top secret cattle ranch in the Guanacaste region. Uh -huh. Through genetic engineering, we produce cattle ears that double as radar dishes. Now, if those koalas call for help, these cattle will hear them. Next, the Peguibayal River, part of Costa Rica's 500 miles of white water rivers, where you can raft for the thrill of a lifetime. Or, if you're like me, you'll just hang on for dear life. Be sure to scan the capital of San Jose for Robo and his furry friends. Perhaps join these Indians as they sing, Where, oh, where have my koalas all gone? Finally, what trip would be complete without a bullfight or two? Now, animal lovers, rest easy. In Costa Rica, bullfights, the bull is never killed or injured. But in Acme crime fighting, the crook is always jailed. Gumshoes, put the mosh on that menacing mix master and save those koalas. We'll do it, Chief. Thanks a lot. Okay, guys, you ready? Loot warrant crook is the order. Giancarlo, you had the uh, most at the end of the last round. You go first. Um... Baraonda National Park. Baraonda National Park. Nothing there, but we're on our way. John. Tempisque River. Tempisque River. Nothing there. Giancarlo. San Jose National Theater. San Jose National Theater. 
Ah, the theater, but I no. I love those. We turn back around. John, your turn. Zaporte Bullring. Zaporte uh, Bullring. Nothing there. John Carp. Serpentaria. Serpentaria. Nothing there. John. El Bosque Encantado. El Bosque Encantado. Nothing there. John Carlo. Jungle Train. Jungle Train. Robo Crook. Nice job. You found Robo. Got to go in the right order, though. Loot Warrant and then Crook. Be careful, Giancarlo. San Jose National Theater. San Jose National Theater. Oh, the theater. Very again. good. We turn it back around. John, your turn. Valley of the General. Valley of the General. Nothing there. Giancarlo. Kachi Lake. Lake. Uh, Kachi Lake. Nope, nothing there. John. Coco Beach. Coco Beach. Sorry, nothing there. Giancarlo. Lancaster Gardens. Lancaster Gardens. No, nothing there. John. Ujaras Ruins. Ujaras Ruins. No, nothing there. Giancarlo. Irazu Volcano. Irazu Volcano. Coati Koalas. Yeah, gotta be something there. You get a free turn. Go ahead, Giancarlo. Parque La Sabana. Parque La Sabana. Nice. The warrant. Nice job. Wanna hit that one more time? The warrants. Very good, just like it was the first time. Yes. You have the loot and the warrant. You need just one more. Can you do it, buddy? Jungle train. Jungle train. Looking for a crook? Rock yeah, rock. buddy. You won. Nice job, buddy. You know what to do, right? Throw on that chain. Pull on that chain. Put him in jail. Get where you want to come. Come on, buddy. Rob a crook in jail. Nice job, John Carl. We'll talk to you in just a little bit. First off, hey man, great job, great case, did some great stuff, and as always, we got some great stuff for you. Chief, thanks for your help in sniffing out the bad guys. In recognition of your contributions, I hereby award you an official Acme travel pass. Plus, this World Band Radio. Now you can get the scoop on what's going on in England, the Netherlands, Russia, anywhere in the world. And to help you find your way, I've included this handy guidebook. Congratulations! Thank you, Chief. What were you just telling me? Um, I thought I'd never get it. Thought he'd never get it, but he got it. And also, you have this, the portfolio, strong enough inside. Piece of paper and also a pen. You know what to do with this, right? Go ahead, write down where you'd like to go. Catch Carmen San Diego. Get that trip. Fritz, start the music. <laughs> Have you been there before? I lived there. Oh, you lived there? Oh, good enough. It'll be a great trip then. Here's a phone call coming. Is there a phone here? Hello? Is there... I'll be right with you. Hello? Thank you very much. Thank you so much. It's in the wall. Hello? Yes, he's right here. Hello? Robo Crook, Unit 059 calling. According to my default program, when imprisoned for more than 11 seconds, I automatically rat on my owner. Look for Carmen in Europe. John Carl, you and I are after Carmen San Diego. Chief, what can you tell us? Here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Iceland, Scotland, Norway, Baltic Sea, Belarus, Poland, France, Slovakia, Slovenia, Albania, Macedonia, Bulgaria, Russia. Greg! Let's go to the map. Feel good. <laughs> All right, Charlie, you know what to do, right? Grab one of those markers. We can put 45 seconds up on the clock. And remember, if you're looking for a body of water, you want to see one of these. See that? Yeah. It's the infamous red arrow. Yeah, okay. So, 45 seconds up on the clock. Good luck to you, buddy. Cheer them on, guys. On your mark. Get set. Go. Come on with the Moscow, Russia. Russia. Do it, buddy. Do it. Yeah. I'll go Norway. 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 Yeah. Go to Macedonia. Macedonia. Go. 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 Pour it on now. Let's go. Come on, man. Wait, give it Iceland. 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 Yeah. Leon France. France. Leon France. Yeah. There's Bulgaria. Bulgaria. Go, buddy. Go. Pour it on. You got a good pace. Yeah. Come on. Baltic Sea, Baltic Sea, you got a good pace, keep it up, Baltic Sea, yeah, and then there's Scotland, Scotland, let's go, Scotland, Scotland, hurry, yeah. thank you very much, how do you feel, buddy? Great. Excellent job. Listen, you picked out where you'd like to go. If you got Carmen San Diego, you've caught her. That means you and a pair are going to Texas. 
Brad Powell. Excellent job, man. Listen, you've been doing some great stuff for us today. There's one more thing I want you to do. You know what it is? Do it! Acapella!